Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shots. Spider-Man No Way Home, the latest movie from Sony Pictures, crossed 1.37 billion US dollars in box office. Highest grossing movie of 2021. Raving reviews from people all over the world. Today I want to talk about the creator of the Spider-Man series, Stan Lee, the man behind all classic Marvel characters. After he created Fantastic Four, X-Men, etc., his publisher asked him to come up with another superhero for their magazine. To create a superhero, the first thing is the superpower. So he was wondering what superpower to give this new guy. That's when he saw a fly crawling on the wall. True story, okay? He said, hey, if I could get a superhero that could stick to walls, and crawl that would be cool and he needed a name for that so first it was flyman it didn't sound well then he cut down to spiderman he wanted the superhero to be different from the one that existed before the dc superheroes of the world right so he made the hero a teenager and gave him personal problems he wanted the superhero to experience human emotions he wanted the superhero to learn from his mistakes with all this ideas and excitement he ran to his publisher's office and said i created this new character called spider-man but the publisher was not happy he squashed the idea the publisher said stan this is the worst idea i have ever heard first of all people hate spiders so you cannot call a hero spider-man and you want to make him a teenager teenagers can only be sidekicks and worst you want him to have personal problems man you know don't you know what a superhero is they don't have personal problems so stanley was super disappointed but this character spiderman was was not going out of his head the the magazine he was working for at the time it was not doing well the comic magazine it was it wasn't selling so they want to kill that magazine uh, basically they want to stop publishing so stanley was sending the last issue to the press as it was a last issue nobody cared what he put into it to just to get out of his head he put spiderman on amazing fantasy magazine supposed to be the last issue okay a month later all the sales figures came out and it was an instant hit the same publisher who rejected his idea came running into his office and said stan you remember that character we both liked so much spiderman let's do it as a series stanley says if you have an idea that you genuinely think is good don't let some idiots talk you out of it he shared the story at ucla just watch this video if you have an idea that you genuinely think is good don't let some idiot talk you out of it <laughs> if there is something that you feel is good something you want to do something that means something to you try to do it because i think you can only do your best work if you're doing what you want to do and if you're doing it the way you think it should be done and if you can take pride in it after you've done it no matter what it is if you could look at it and say i did that and i think it's pretty damn good that's a great feeling powerful isn't it stanley's rejected idea was a billion dollar idea we have to keep rejections on perspective one person's opinion or one single incident should never define who you are Don't let someone else opinion of you become your reality. Just because someone thinks something about you or your idea doesn't mean it's true. There are hundreds of inspiring rejection stories in history. Walt Disney was fired from a local newspaper company in 1919 because his editor said he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter was rejected by 12 major publishing companies in the UK. before someone accepted steven spielberg was rejected by the university of southern california film institute thrice 
Michael Jordan was rejected from his high school's basketball team. Our own Amida Bachchan was rejected by All India Radio you know, during audition because his voice was not good. You know, just tell yourself whenever you face any rejection, this is not the end of the world. Something better, bigger, brighter is waiting for me. And then just move on. Believe in yourself and your idea. Please don't give up in your ideas or dreams based on someone's opinion. Imagine if, if Stanley gave up his idea based on his publisher's opinion. You know, such a big loss for all of us. Every rejection will teach you something. You know, see what can you learn from that experience. Rejection doesn't mean no, it just it simply means not it. Stay calm, reject, reject rejections and keep working till the world see your worth. Thank you so much for watching. I am Sridhar Krishnan. Stay happy, stay healthy.